Now let's just get into this tutorial here. The effect we're going to be creating is a pretty cool one. It's um, someone on my second tutorial on the um, the ring scope tutorial they asked me on how to do cloning, like seen in Baker's skate edit. Um, and I tried to recreate the effect. It's not perfect, but obviously it's Baker. You can't really recreate Baker's effects um, unless he does a tutorial on them. But this is what I've created from it. As you see, as it scrolls through here, that he clones, then they fade out. Um, I just play this though, you'll see what happens. Boom, boom, boom. Now I think it looks pretty cool, it's really nice to have this in a cinematic. Um, now obviously you don't have to fade them out, I thought it would be cool to have them fade out after a while. Um, but you can kind of see them all there, like, all there, if each of their own one. Um, it's quite easy to do, it's a little time consuming, but I'm just going to kind of get right into it and show you how we do it. So I'm just going to make a new composition here. Actually, I'm gonna, I've got my cinematic here that I've got with the player running. I'm going to drag this into a composition. So we're going to call this cloning. Now, this is I've seen this being called the shadow effect before, because obviously he's leaving a shadow behind. But you can um, call it whatever you want. I just call it a clone effect. Um, so basically, what you want to do is you want to go through the cinematic to where you want the first one to appear. So I want roughly here. I'm going to press shift. Um, wait, no. I'm going to press command D. To duplicate it then I'm going to press shift command D to split the layer and I'm just going to delete it the previous one so now we've got a layer that starts there we're now going to right click it go to time freeze frame so now as you run through it it freezes on there and we don't want it to just freeze and then we need the other guy to run through but what we're going to do quickly we're just going to call this layer one and just call this cine we're going to duplicate this and no, we're not sorry. We're going to hide that one. Go to where we want, next want the freeze to be. So roughly there, I believe. Yeah, here we'll do. We're going to hit duplicate again. We're going to this time hit Alt Open Square Bracket, and that will just do it a lot easier. It will split the layer a lot easier instead of having to do both things like Shift Command D then delete. You can just hold Alt and Open Square Bracket, and it will just chop it off for you. And then again, do the same thing, right click, time, freeze frame. And we're gonna call this number two. Huh. I'm sorry, Major, number two. Lol. And then we're gonna go to roughly, is that all right? Uh, gap, yep, here should do. We're going to do the same thing. Command D, duplicate, Alt, open, square bracket. Drag it up to the top. Call it three, right click, time, enable time remap. Uh, whoops, not that one, sorry. And then, uh, freeze frame. There we go. Okay, so now, um, if I show you, one freezes there, then freezes there, then freezes there. Now, they aren't, the one in the gun in the background isn't carrying running for starters, and there's only one of them showing up at a time. So let's deal with that now. Now, the key to this, the whole effect revolves around masking. Now, we did a talk about masking in my last tutorial. Um, this goes a bit more, um, you need to do a bit more masking in this tutorial. So basically, you just want to mask around your guy here. It doesn't really have to be that exact because you are going to feather it a little bit. But and obviously, I'm doing this because it does take a bit of time to do this. Um, I'm kind of rushing it, not doing it super exact. But it is hard to do it exact on um, a clip like this because obviously, um, the more you zoom in, the pixelier, the more pixelated the image goes. So it's hard to tell what's going on. Now, the shadows on, well, particularly on this cinematic, can be a pain to do because he's obviously running quite fast. Um, so the shadows do look a bit dodgy. So I'm not actually going to go around the shadows at all. Um, so we'll go with Master Guy here. We're going to hit M and then M again. <laughs> so now we bring up all the masks. We're going to bring the feather up to roughly two, and then. It should work then if we go to the next. So as you can see, boom, he carries in running. So let's zoom out a bit and you can see. And now we've got another person there, which is pretty cool. And then actually, actually as you can see, it freezes and the shadow carries on. Um, now you can actually do an individual mask for the shadow if you want. So I'm going to go and, go and do that now. I'm going to hit the pen tool and we're just going to mask around what looks like the shadow roughly. I'm not even sure if this is the shadow but 
I think this is the ma the majority of the shadow. <laughs> do that again. Do the same thing. Add a feather of roughly two. So now, hopefully, if we just zoom out a bit, oh yeah, um, bring all that down, zoom out. You'll see that the shadow still stays there, which is pretty cool. And the guy has him running. And plus, and it looks quite good as well. Now, there's there isn't actually a way to make the guy freeze behind. Um, because you would have to um, mask the actual guy running for the entire duration of him being in front of the gun. Um, I know it sounds a bit confusing, but basically that's how you would do it. Um, okay, so then you want to go to this one, the next one along, and do the same thing. Now, I do apologize if, if you can hear some like noises in the background. Um, we're getting some like the door handles and pictures put up downstairs, so. There is a bit of like hammering and like drilling and stuff going on. Um, okay, so again, just the same thing. We're just going around um, masking our guy here. Again, doesn't have to be too special because this well, this cinematic individually does go by quite fast. Um, oh, no, that's cuts off half his face. Don't want to do that. <laughs> so yeah, we're doing this. And also last night, while I do this, I hit 150 subscribers. So thank you a lot for that, guys. It means a lot. Um, like I think I had four days ago, I had no partnership and 109 inactive subscribers, and now I'm like being boosted up so much. Like it really means a lot. So thanks, guys. Um, and like my my videos get like loads of views and like they get really good feedback and everything so like thank you so much because I really do appreciate it um because I'm doing these tutorials for you guys so and I think you're enjoying them and yeah so like someone asked me to do this tutorial so I thought I'd have a go at doing it so here goes I like I can't just go through finding effects for you guys to show because I like doing different tutorials that not many people do so if you have seen any effects that you want to know just tell me in the comment section that's what it's for um yeah tell me what to do so i'm just gonna zoom out a bit here and like see so, you now i've got one two and here it looks pretty good so and then last one's here so we're gonna do the last one here now obviously the shadow is gonna be a bit tougher on this one because um it's actually right out in the open there's no like none of this darker shadow here in the way. Yeah, so it's gonna go through like this. Uh, but as you can see, it does. It is kind of quite a time, a length, not time consuming, but lengthy process of. And there's like the more shadows you have, obviously, the oh, oops, um, the longer it will take. But like, it is a nice effect in the end. So. If you really want to make your edits look good, you will be spending time on them. Um, so this is kind of what you've got to do. And also, there is an easy way of doing this. I've seen some people in Sony Vegas do it by like a different way, where you literally um, save the image, then just bring the opacity down um, on that image, and it looks good. But you can't really animate it much, like I did in the example. Um, and I prefer this way just because it looks cleaner. It looks a lot nicer and it's got a lot more freedom to edit like how it looks so there are other ways of doing this but this is like my way um okay there we go it's going to bring that around a bit you can kind of obviously edit each point of the mask and again bring the feather up to two so now we zoom out fully you can see Where have I got? Actually, I haven't done the shadow yet, have I? Yeah, the shadow goes and running. It looks pretty cool, though. <laughs> Alright, let's just do the shadow quickly. Zoom in. Now, I can't, the shadow on like, a shadow like this isn't going to be that hard to do because you just don't really need to be that exact with it. And like so. Like so, there we go. And that will do for now, I think. Uh, bring the feather up to two. I like doing two just because it's kind of a clean look and then not too over feathered. And now as you can see the shadow stays there. 
boom, 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 boom. There you go, guys. Right now, one thing, one thing I did in the um, testing was I actually faded them out after a short time. So to do that, you want to go to the first frame, hit T on your keyboard, hit the stopwatch for opacity. You want to then hold down Shift Command and the right arrow key, or Shift Command, um, or Shift Control right arrow key to go forward ten frames. Now you want to go back, hold the command or control button and go back one, two, three. So you've gone forward seven frames. Hit the opacity button to hit the, add another keyframe. Now go forward um, ten frames. So like that. And then go forward another five. One, two, three, four, five. So you've basically gone forward fifteen frames from this mark. And you want to bring the opacity down to zero. And you can delete this frame here, this first one. So now what happens is he stays there for some amount of time and then he starts fading out after a bit. Now you can then literally duplicate these. Um, go forward your seven frames. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Copy those keyframes, paste them in there. If you hit U now, you'll see that they're there. Now this guy fades out. And then do the same here. So go for seven frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Paste that in. And see they all fade out now. And there's a dodgy frame at the end of the cinematic, which is kind of annoying. Uh, right, so now if we watch this, like so, the guy appears and it all fades out, and it's pretty cool. And obviously you can make these frames last longer, whoops. By just selecting those and just dragging them out. Like so, and now they're obviously there for a lot longer. You can obviously change the length of the way they're appearing. But all in all, it's quite a nice effect, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to go check out Samu's channel. Again, link in the description. Um, let's try and get maybe 10 likes. I know we've been getting roughly around 10 likes on these tutorials, and I've been coming out with them daily for you. Like, I just uploaded one on. Tuesday, I uploaded one yesterday and I uploaded one today and I'll probably upload one tomorrow as well. Um so I've got kind of like four tutorials in a week for you, which is pretty cool. Um yeah, leave a comment, favourite it if you enjoyed it, be sure to tell your friends about me and I shall see you guys in the next video.